Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of February 8th through the 14th, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you, so this could resonate right now or next week or whenever. Um, I do apologize for the noise in the background. I will be doing soundproofing over the next month. It's going to probably take me a month because i got a whole house to take care of. Anyhow, um, so yeah, soundproofing will be done. Let's get started. What do we have? What do we have for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Pineapple, reconciliation. So there could be some reconciliation that is coming. Reconciliation could be with anybody that you have parted ways with. Weeping willow, family sorrow. So there's some sort of family sorrow. Flute, disappointment in a friend or lover. May, May is very prominent. Some of you are probably born in May. Um, but the month of May, you notice the blossoms, things are going to really be blossoming in May. Something is going to happen this week, may have something to do with a family member, I'm not sure. Um, looks like there's going to be a reconciliation, I don't know, maybe the reconciliation's in May. Could, could, something could happen this week that, you know, starts it. Um, there is some sort of disappointment, um, in a friend or a lover, but I feel like there's obviously going to be a reconciliation of some sort. So... Let's get one of these. What do we have for Gemini? One card, please. Six of Raphael. Embrace your inner child. New friends or rekindled relationships. Children or childhood. Now this is the Six of Cups. So I think we have something to do with the past. So there, I feel like there is a reconciliation of some sort. May have something to do with children. Um, either way, there is going to be a relationship that is rekindled in some way. And it could, it, could, it could be with a child. It could be with a child, but it could also be with a lover. Because this says friend or lover, and this says child. So it could be a friend, lover, child, something like that. New friends, maybe, too, because it says new friends. So you may be making some new friends. And when you get the Six of Cups, you know, you could be meeting, you know, somebody that you have a soul connection with. Could be somebody brand new. All right. Ooh, Six of Pentacles reversed. So this is lack of uh, equality, not getting, somebody's not getting what they deserve. There's been an abuse of power in some way. There's a rejection here, some sort of rejection, an imbalance, an injustice. There's been some sort of injustice. Temperance. Now, temperance is a card of change and balance and uh, acceptance it's it's evolving somebody has evolved or they've changed or they've healed or they've learned some sort of lesson and some yeah somebody's learned some sort of lesson now they're they've changed they've evolved and and uh it's time to you know somebody's gonna be testing the waters with you by the looks of things now the temperance is a card of it's an, you know you need to be you need to be grounded but you also need to be fluid. This is about you know uh, cooperating. There definitely could be a reunion here because this is a card of reunion as well. After rejection, somebody has been rejected. They didn't get what they deserved, but there's going to be some sort of I don't know maybe somebody's done some healing or something like that or. They're ready for a change. They're ready to create harmony. You know, this is about creating harmony and there's been some sort of disharmony. 
Somebody's ready to create harmony. Seven of Wands. Now, tough position. Somebody's in a tough position. You may, you may be feeling on the defensive. You may be feeling on the defensive because you want to protect yourself. You may feel like you need to protect yourself. There's obviously uh, a change here. There's a, maybe it's a change of mood. Somebody's changed their mind. You know what I mean? Um, and you're probably feeling like you, you probably don't trust. You probably don't trust because, and you're probably feeling defensive because you, you don't trust. It doesn't feel like, you know, you feel, you feel like you're uh, being judged or you're going to be criticized or something like that. Um, I feel like you, you want to protect yourself from somebody. And you may need to protect yourself. Maybe you've been, been with somebody that has abused their power. You know, they've abused the, your generosity. You know, they took your kindness for weakness. And I feel like now you're on guard. You're on guard. And, and this is, the temperance comes after death. So obviously something has ended. And that ending has caused evolution. Because this is evolution. It's about accepting and allowing, you know, that something is over. Hmm. What happened though? Two of Pentacles. Now two of pen oh, two of Pentacles. This is not a pentacle. Two of Wands. So this is a decision in the past. Somebody has made a dis they made a decision. They turned their back on you. Somebody turned their back on you. And they uh yeah, they turned their back. Somebody turned their back on you and they went in another direction. That's what happened. It may have happened suddenly. They went down a new path. Somebody went down a new path or you went down a new path. Somebody went down a new path. And it was definitely a poor decision. It was a poor decision. Uh, this is like a fraud, you know, a con. Somebody that uh, maybe, you know, took something from you. They took something from you. What did they take? Ooh, they belittled you. Somebody belittled you. They fought with you. They wanted to win at all costs. This is somebody who had a big ego. So you were dealing with somebody who had a very, very, very big ego. And, and because I feel like you've walked away or they've walked or somebody's walked away and now they may want to, they're going to be tested. Whoever this person is, because there's been a battle, it's been a constant battle, it's been a constant competition, you know, this, and I feel like because you have decided not to give to this person anymore, now they are going to test you, they're going to test the waters, so you're going to, your waters, you're going to be tested, you are going to be tested, now this person, it's like now they just want to be happy, now they, they've evolved because they're not getting, they're not getting anything from you anymore, because you're not giving them anything anymore, they turned their back on you. It feels like the the uh, tides have turned. You know what I mean? Now this person is looking at you. They've seen that you've walked away. You know, you this has walked away. They've seen it. You know, it's already happened. They've seen that you've walked away. Now they're gonna they're gonna I don't know cooperate in some way. Moon reverse. Now the moon reverse is seeing the truth. It's a reality check. Somebody's gotten a reality check. And there's been a lot of, of, of bickering. There's been a lot of, of, I don't care. I don't care. Just go. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't care. That's a lie. Okay? And it feels like now this person wants to reconcile. You know, they want to, they want to make things right. They're ready. They're ready for a change. And I feel like, you know, you could have somebody here that is uh, putting you on the spot. They're going to be putting you on the spot. This person has been delusional or they have been, or they had some addictions or they were ignoring their intuition or they were too fearful or something like that. Um, but now they're, now it's really clear. They received some sort of clarity. Somebody has received, they're coming out of a period of darkness. And I feel like they're coming out of a period of darkness because, you know, they weren't getting what they deserved either. You know, they, they, they keep, obviously there's memories. There's some sort of memories with the Six of Cups. They keep on remembering something. And if this is somebody new, you know, somebody could be reawakening your memories of love. Okay, just saying. 
This is coming out of a dark period. Uh, it's time to be happy, choosing to be happy, making another decision. You know, somebody is making another decision and, and they're letting go of their ego. They're letting go of the pride, you know. I think you're definitely going to be put in a tough position. You're going to be facing something that I feel like there's something here that has betrayed you. You know, you've been betrayed in the past. You've been belittled. You've been uh, pushed away. It feels like you've been pushed away. Now there's going to be a change, definitely, with that temperance card. Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a purpose. There's been some sort of injustice. Somebody is going to put you on the spot. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Sudden. All of a sudden. I feel like there's going to be a sudden change. Somebody that turned their back on you is, is, is coming back around. And I feel like you're going to be... Uh, like, huh? I don't know about this. You're going to have your guard up. You are definitely going to be feeling like you don't, you don't, you can't let your guard down around this person. You don't trust this person. And maybe it's because you've been betrayed and belittled and hurt in the past. This could definitely be somebody new. There's obviously been, you know, a huge battle somebody has been in a battle where they've been defeated you know they've been defeated and they had to walk away and there's a lot of fear but this is let go of the fear it really you need to let go of the fear knight of pentacles reversed Ace of Wands, new beginning. So yes, we have somebody here that may have been unfaithful or they may have been jealous or they may have been greedy. They may have been selfish. They may have been not wanting to act responsibly. Uh, this is somebody that, um, it could be an ex. For some of you, it could be an ex. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that doesn't follow through with their plans, you know? Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, could be dealing with anybody. We have fire and we have air here as well. So it could be anybody. There is an exciting opportunity, though, to start with a clean slate. This is a new desire, a new spark, a new vision, passion, new partner. New, this could be a sexual thing, you know, a new sexual partner. Or it could be, you know, somebody from the past. <laughs> I'm just saying it could be somebody from the past. That has a sudden desire, and this is definitely a sudden desire with the Ace of Wands. This is a this is a, a spark. Okay, this is a spark. It's a, it's a um, opportunity for growth. It's a, it's a very fertile time. So there is something that is about to blossom. I just want to say that something is about to blossom. This is this is the the uh, spark where the spark ignites this week. There's some sort of spark that is igniting this week and I feel, or some sort of desire, okay? Um, but this Knight of Pentacles is unplanned. It's definitely unplanned. And this is a test. You are definitely gonna be tested. How much you've healed, how much you've evolved is gonna be tested, okay? Your purpose, your everything that happens for a reason teaches you a lesson. You're gonna be tested this week in some way, okay? You are. Um, you are gonna be probably going down a new path. I feel like it's a very sudden change. Um, you don't see it coming. It, you definitely don't see it coming at all. Um, I feel like this is somebody that conned you, that betrayed you, that um, treated you unfairly. This is this is a, right here. They turned their back on you. Um, could be a family member. I don't know who it is. Could be a lover. There is going to be a uh, new opportunity to start fresh. This is starting fresh. So, uh, yeah, that's what we have this week. Um, I do feel like you're going to you're going to be feeling uh, on edge, you're going to be put in a very, very, very tough position. Um, 
somebody's been hiding their feelings or they've been hiding something. Maybe they've been masking, wearing a mask, you know, with with addictions, you know, masking their feelings with addictions. But now they're able to manage their feelings better. And you're going to need to manage your feelings you are going to need to manage your feelings this week. You may be feeling like you're under attack. You may be feeling like you're being judged or criticized. Um, but that could just be your own feelings. It could be your own fears. You know, there's fear of the unknown here. And it's because of previous betrayal, previous uh, a previous incident where somebody, whether it's this person or somebody else, turned their back on you. And that's what has caused your need to defend yourself and not trust. Um you may be trying to push somebody away. You may be trying to push somebody away because you don't trust them. Um, somebody definitely has some sort of desire to to give you something, and I feel like you're going to push it away. It's like, nope, I don't trust you. I don't trust you. You know, somebody wants to give you something, and you're, you may be like, I don't trust you one bit. What's what's the motive? You know, what's your motive? You may try, you know what I mean. You may be like wanting to stop. You know, put the brakes on instantly because of fear. Anyhow, um, you are definitely going to be given an exciting opportunity that could change your uh, future, okay? It could change your future. But whether you give to it or not, is whether you give attention to it or not, is going to be up to you. Because I see, I, I feel like there's fear here. I do feel like there's fear and there's... You know, a need to protect. I want to. I need to protect myself. I need to protect myself from, you know, being betrayed again. So anyway, I think that you have an opportunity uh, to start with a clean slate. And I feel like my advice is to just go for it. Just go for it. Just do it. Just go for it. You know, give it a chance. Good luck.